Welcome to the SAS video tutorial on subsetting data part two. We're going to focus on rows this time. Last time we focused on columns. Okay, I've already read in the cyclercpk.csv data set that is found in the repository linked below. And if you need to know how to read it in, there's a previous video to show how to do that. The cycler data is sitting here in my work directory. So you can see it here. And what we're going to do this time is learn to subset by rows. So the first one thing we're going to want to do is subset by, let's say, gender. Okay, and we'll just pull out the males at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new data set. I'm going to call it Cycler M for males. And it's going to come from this, the data that it's going to come from is the Cycler data set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here where, in our case, I want gender, which is the column that I'm interested in, equals M for male. And then I'm going to run this and see what I get. So I run this real quick. I see Cycler M shows up here. And sure enough, all of the data in this data frame or data set is gendered male. I can do that again for female. And this is one way to get this information. There's another way to get it as well. So I'm going to put here data, uh, Cycler, uh, I'm going to put M2 because we want to get the same data set, but we just want to see a different way to do it because often there's more than one way to do things. And in this case, I'm going to do if. Okay, and I'm going to do gender equals M, and then run this. And let's see what this produces. And I get cycler 2, and notice that this is exactly the same data set. So there's two ways to grab this. I can use the where statement, or I can use the if statement, and they both actually work quite well. Okay, so these are just two ways to get exactly the same information. Now, what I can also do is add other pieces of information in here to help uh, pull out different types of information. So data, cycler, let's suppose now I'm interested in treatment. So I'm interested in cycler T. I'm going to call it for that for treatment. It's going to come from the cycler data set. And I'm going to, in this case, put if here treatment is in a specific range so uh, or a few values so in our case it would be h and let's say l so this should grab all of the data rows that are either h or l okay and i see cycler t shows up over here and if i look down through here i see l and i see h but i don't see any of the other uh, treatment combination. So I'm able to pull out more than one bit of information here. So it's either H or L. Now, if I want to do a combination of these, you can use an AND uh, type operator if you wish. So we could do this uh, another way as well. So let's do this. So I'm going to just say, what if we wanted only the cycler people who had high and were female? So let's create that. So cycler hf this is going to come from the cycler data set again and then here we're going to have if and okay we had two conditions we had gender equals female and we can write this down uh, and we can do if treatment equals h we'll see if this does what we think it should do which is produce a data set that has both or only in it females that are in the high category for treatment. So I run this, I look over here, I see HF, open it up, and sure enough, they're female in the high category. Okay, so that works. Uh, there's another way to try to do this as well. So let's look at data cycler HF2. And again, we're going to use the same data set that we're coming from, Cycler, because we're actually not changing Cycler ever. So here we can do if gender equals female, and then we could use the ampersand if we wanted to, and then treatment equals H. And run this and see what this produces. And what I'm trying to do is show you different ways of getting to the same thing. There's more than one way to do things, and getting used to that is uh, important when you deal with SAS. So if I look at both of these data sets are identical, 
And that's what I wanted to show you, that there are more than one way to get at these things. So I have here an or statement by using the in, and it just gives a list of what it should be. I have subsetted by female, I've subsetted by treatment equals high, and I've done it again. So there's more than one way to do this. And as we go along, we'll do learn subsetting for different things using different uh, logic operators. But these are the simple ones at first, and now we can jump to part three, which is the next video.